I love corn. I love the way it mashes. This beer goes really well if you're sitting around a fire telling corny jokes. Goes great in backyards with friends playing cornhole. Stuff drinks as smooth as corn silk. Man, this flavor would just go great with a corn cob pipe. This beer should be knee high by 4th of July. Um, I'm out of corn puns. Hey everybody, I'm Brad and we're back here again with another installment of Behind the Brew where we talk about our new beer kit recipes. Uh, this one is called Bluegrass Benchmark. It is our nod to the Kentucky Common, which is actually a historical style that is in the BJCP style guidelines. So you can enter this and have it judged as such. But the Kentucky Common style, we can really shuck back the history on this one. Let us drop a few kernels of knowledge on you about this style. It was a really popular beer in and around the Louisville, Kentucky area, really about the end of the Civil War, right up until about Prohibition, where of course, so many beer styles, so many different things got just killed by the federal government. And once Prohibition was uh, repealed, it never really kind of made a comeback. It kind of stuck around, but was never really as popular as it had once been. And in modern days, craft brewers have really brought it back. And so this is our take on the style. If you're looking for a closer analog of a beer style you might be a bit more familiar with, think of a cream ale, but with a little bit more body, a little bit more caramel sweetness, a touch of roast, and uh, certainly a bit darker in color. But otherwise, it shares a lot of the same characteristics, uh, being that it is uh, brewed with a, a significant portion of corn it's got the same style of hops, in this case, namely cluster hops, which were a very traditional American variety. And at one point in time was the most acreage of hops grown in America was cluster. And we're talking pre-prohibition times. To get a sense of how this beer is made, let's head to the brew cave and we're gonna whip up a batch of both extract and all grain. We always have a good time coming up with these recipes, test brewing them, and then bringing you videos on what we're doing and what we're releasing as a new beer kit. And if you wanna be the first to know about it and you like what we're doing, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. When brewing the extract batch, start by steeping the specialty grains. In this case, you get a little bit of roasted barley and a little bit of caramel malt. The point is we want to extract the colors and the aromas from the grain. Do that for about 20 minutes or so discard that grain bag, and then go ahead and start in with adding your extracts. So for the extract batch, we added both the liquid and the dry malt extract right at the beginning of the boil, like you would with most extract-based uh, recipes. Uh, we did add a 60-minute addition of cluster for some nice bittering. We added a 15-minute addition of cluster that will give you a bit of that rustic American-style flavor to the beer. And right at the end is also when we add a little bit of tetanang that is traditional for the Kentucky Common style that will add a little bit of earthiness, floral, spice to the beer, really great aroma on the hop front. And also at the very end of the boil is when we do put this uh, corn syrup in. Uh, this stuff is a little tricky, it is super thick, and it takes a bit to get really dissolved into the wort. So be sure that you have your flame off and you are stirring it in really, really well just to make sure it is fully incorporated, fully almost uh, melted into the hot wort before you do proceed and fill your fermenter. For the all grain version, we start off with a little bit of American style six row. You might be used to having two row in your all grain kits. Uh, the reason we use six row here is because it is a bit higher in enzymes and because there is roughly 20% corn in this recipe, which does not have enzymes, the six row makes sure that there is enough diastatic power or enzymatic activity to convert all the starches in the corn into fermentable sugars. So you're gonna have six row, you're gonna have about three pounds of corn. You're gonna have a dash of both roasted barley and uh, caramel malt. Just like the extract version, this is going to be hopped twice with cluster hops. It's gonna be finished off with tetanang. And unlike the extract version, we are not adding corn syrup because we mashed the flake corn to begin with. Once your boil is complete, chill as always, as rapidly as possible. Go ahead, oxygenate that wort really well just to make sure the yeast have oxygen to do their thing. And in this case, we are going to pitch the Chico strain of yeast, which will be the Omega OYL004 West Coast AL1, or the Imperial flagship. 
If you are a dry guy and you do like the powdered saturated of yeast, we are including the Fermentus Safe Ale US05. Those, all three of those yeast strains are really pretty much the same thing. It is the ubiquitous Chico strain. So you're gonna get a really nice clean fermentation. Try to keep that a little bit on the low side of the temperature spectrum to get the cleanest possible fermentation with suppressed esters. It is a wonderfully slightly dark, deliciously slightly sweet, nice and bready, not very bitter, good hop aroma. It's got a super clean aroma where you get that corn to shine through with a slight sweetness. Uh, it's finished off with tetanang hops where you're gonna get a little bit of earthiness, a little bit of spiciness, a little bit of floral character. It, it really kind of reminds me of ruffling around in the leaves a little bit. It's got the right color and everything. And uh, you can really get a little bit of that corn, just a little bit of mild sweetness. It's kind of hard to describe. It smells like corn. Do you drink this pint like a typewriter or round and round? If you got more ideas about corn beers, I'm all ears. And that's it for this Behind the Brew. Make sure you give this one a whirl. It's a great take on what you might consider otherwise a cream ale. It's got a little bit more flavor. It's got a little bit more gusto. And it is history, so this is a piece of Americana in a glass right here. Bluegrass Benchmark Kentucky Common. Available on northernbrewer.com in both extract and all grain versions. And have a corntastic day.